Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Collector, and today we're going to take a look at Paradox Drift because we've got some interesting price changes, and as always, we're going to compare what's happening with the American market, as you can see here, we're on TG Player, with what's going on over in the European Union. So here you see car market and spoiler, there's going to be some interesting price differences between three cards that we're going to take a look at today, as well as we're going to dive into the data, look at supplies, and I'll show you something I'm sure you don't want to miss out. So without wasting too much of your time, I'll go straight into the main part of this video, which is comparing prices between the US and the EU. And then the later section of this video is going to be look at the data, look at the supply. And that is something you, I'm sure you don't want to miss out on. So here, as you can see, we, we, we know prices have been dropping ever since pre-release and, and, and such, but it looks like we I don't know if it's going to be the bottom. Could we get a reprint in one, two years down the line? Yes, it's possible. For the time being, we did pretty much have a 10% move to the upside. We went from 90 to 98 now. As you can see here, it's, it's selling $99. So it, it did move higher. If we take a look at what's going on in the European market, as you can see here in Paradox Rift, we do have boxes as low as 90 euros. And then as always, it needs to add shipping on the side when you are in car market because it depends on where you are in the European Union alike unlike Digi Play that usually tends to have shipping included. So as you can see here as low as 90 euros. But again we'll take a look at more data on boxes and both singles in just a second. So taking a look at the Groudon, which is my favorite car from the set I have to be honest, we've seen an increase in price. You can see here the three months chart and the one month chart. It went from the low twenties to the low 30s in a matter of the month. If we take a look at the one year chart, yes, it, it has dropped, but it looks like it, it bottom in the low 20s and now it's in the low 30s. And as you can see here, there's confirmed sales in the low 30s, if not even mid 30s. And it all started beginning of April, so beginning of this month. Now, here's what's interesting. Taking a look at the European market, the Groudon, you can find it still in the low 20s so it looks like either the prices haven't adjusted in the european market yet or they're not going to from experience from data data tells me usually happens it, it's it, it, usually it's a matter of days so i'm not sure why this ha hasn't happened yet or we could see the same happening in the european market now similar thing for the rolling moon sir which actually for, for the price that it's at I, I wouldn't mind having it in, in my collection, but here again, same. If you take a look at the, let's go into monthly chart, you can see how it, it did spike up, it bounced back up. Now I know this car was at $100, blah, blah, blah. We know that we're talking about really short term here. It went from 55 to 60s. Now, again, taking a look at the European market, this car is still selling for below 50 US. Matter of fact, just above 45, 46 and 95 plus shipping, which it's actually pretty cheap to ship a, a single car within the European Union. Now, last but not least, another one of my favorites, the Steelix Illustration Rare. If we take a look at the one more chart from $10 to 13. So that's, that's actually a 30% increase, which is, it's a lot in, in percentage games, in absolute value, just $3, $3. and with I, I, TCG player fees are higher then car market car market stands at five percent um, fee on, on your sale and again if we take a look at the european market you can still find it as low as eight euros now that being said let's take a look at the data let's see how supplies moving and how prices are evolving so here's the excel sheet these are all listings in karma on car market and i started to get them as you can see here April 22nd. So we do have some some data points. These are the number of items per sale. Every row is a listing. Some of all boxes. This is booster box repair rift. As you can see, we have a ton of data here. All these sheets are popular with data. So something's cooking. If you don't if you want to know what I highly recommend you enjoy the Discord the link is in the description below. And it's absolutely free, of course. But something's cooking. We do. We are starting to get a lot of data, and uh, this is the maximum amount of box listed. So for a seller had 491. This is the price of the listing. 
is the median price and this is the average of the four lowest prices so that's that was april 20 22nd for now on let's just focus on uh, the total amount of boxes so 1385 and then as you can see here slightly below that again selling out selling out again that was yesterday april 25th and again it is selling out consistently as you can see here, 30 boxes come from the market in a matter of 24 hours still between yesterday and today. Prices haven't changed though, so we're starting to sell even though prices haven't changed. As you can see here, medium price just gone up by a bit, but not significantly. And we still have a ton of boxes available from one singular seller. And uh, that seller that is selling 491 boxes, it's selling there for 115 euros. So now let's jump into the singles, which is also something interesting is happening. And as you can see, I'm scrolling a lot. So again, I have a lot of data, a lot of things that I'm keeping an eye on. And uh, let me know down in the comments if, if you're interested in what's going on and it's something you want to know more and you want to see more on the channel. So Rurim, let's start with the Rooney Mooney XSIR. I'll zoom in so hopefully you can see better. So again, that was April 24th. 132 cards listed. These are all English, near mint or above. And uh, there was a seller with 18. That was the seller with the most number of cards listed. And uh, they were listed for 48 euros. Now, as you can see here, in a matter of three days, roughly 25 cards uh, are, are gone from the market. So 25 Rory Moon potentially sold we don't know if with car market we don't know if they're sold or they're just been taken out of the market anyways they're not available anymore and uh, still you can find a lot of volume here in the 48 to 49 um, euros but after that it's all single listing and if you want volume again you need to go back down to above 50 and uh, here we see a similar pattern with the Grider and IR let me zoom in again for you volume here that was back in uh, April 20, 24th. So today, as you can see here, 126, 131. Today we have 113, so 20 gone in a matter of 24 hours. So people are buying potentially. That's what it looks like. There's still volume here at 22 euros. And then singular listing, if you want more volume, you need to start to get to the 25s and then here high 20s to, to low 30s. So it looks like something is happening. And again, similar thing with the Steelix, even though the only problem with the Steelix is that people are not buying as, as much as you can see. Only two Steelix uh, illustration rares sold in the matter of 48, uh, 72 hours actually. And uh, prices are still in the low eight euros and just can still find a lot of volume. So lots of movement in, in the boosted boxes, as you can see here, lots of movement for the Rony Moon SIR and for the Guardian Illustration Rare. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leave a like. Thanks for watching, hope to see you on the Discord soon, and hope to see you in the next video.